this is Isabella. Welcome back to Dad Process with Kids. And we are going to be showing you all a tour of our smart home. All right. So as you can obviously tell, it's dark out right now because we're showing you our patio lights that are hooked up. Uh, our whole house is running off of Google. And um, we're going to do our best to show you everything that we have set up and list products in the descriptions and whatnot. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to actually edit my video to take out when I say the command every time. So any of you that do have you know, smart homes or Google assistants in your home, we apologize right now, but uh, it is what it is. So hopefully we don't turn on a bunch of stuff in your home when you're watching this video. So as I said, we're out here on our um, patio. I, I call it the outdoor kitchen. The pool side bar and grill actually is what I call it. Um, so we're going to give it its first command out here. Hey Google, turn on the patio. So as you can see by doing that, it lit up our lights that we have running across the top here. It turned on our LED lights underneath the bar. And we have a, well it's really bright in the camera. It is a Yingling beer sign. And uh, that's, that over there is actually an outdoor speaker with lights in it. With We have it hooked up to the TV. Um, this old radio right here, actually last year during quarantine, I, I've had this radio for a long time, it never worked though. And I was looking at it one day and I got thinking, I was like, I bet my Google Mini will fit in this opening of the speaker grill. So that's where my Google's at. And this is what, uh, it operates the whole outside here. Um, over here on the pool, it's not really much to show you, but I do have a smart plug hooked up to my pool pump. Basically it's just hooked up for, uh, as a timer. I mean, I can still control it with Google and whatnot, but there's really no need. Uh, the biggest reason I got it was if I'm out of town and say my, my outdoor nest camera notices something like the pool is leaking water or whatever, I can turn the pump off from wherever I'm at. So now that we showed you the patio, I guess that's just about it out here. Um, there's our nest camera up in the corner. And I think we're going to go take you upstairs. We'll show you the office area and we'll work our way through the house. Alright guys, I know that was quick. Now we're upstairs in the office. It's actually going to be Matthew's room, but he's scared to sleep up here right now. So with the, um, yeah, with the quarantine, you know, for the past year now, or people working from home for the past year, I uh, built a desk and we also have a Google assistant up here. I'm going to show you this one. Hey, Google, turn on the desk lights. So here I have LED lights that come up. Um, they do multiple colors on them and whatnot. I just like them on the white color, honestly, for working purposes. But uh, let me go ahead and turn the lights on so you can actually see the rest of the room. So this desk is made out of two inch thick cypress. Um, we did pour epoxy on it, left the live edge on it. I think it looks really pretty. So we got our home computer here. Have my work computer and stuff over here. And there's our Google Assistant. Now this desk features something totally awesome that I think you guys will all appreciate, I hope. As you can see, the there are knots in the desk, but it's it's smooth. It's smooth as glass because of the epoxy we put on it. But this knot right here is pretty special. So go ahead and show us, Bella, what it does. I don't think she's got it quite right. So that's actually a wireless charging spot in the desk. Um, it's kind of different for her laying her phone on it. I have the, the Galaxy Note 10, so my phone's a lot bigger than hers. So I know exactly where to lay it on there, but um, yeah, it'll you can charge your phone while you're sitting there working. Um, right here is one of our Nest thermostats. I absolutely love this thing. As you can tell, I keep it kind of warmer up here because nobody sleeps up here. But um, it'll send, it'll stay at like 75 degrees, and then when I'm up here, come up here in the morning, just start working. It senses when you're in the room, and you know it'll it'll keep it a comfortable 71, 72 degrees for me. So now we're going to go back downstairs. That's all I have to show you in the office area. And um, we're going to go downstairs. I got some stuff set up in the garage that I'll show you. And then we'll work our way from the patio into the house. And now Bella wants to say something. So also with the Nest cameras, you can also, on your Google Assistant, when you're working, you can look at the cameras on the Google Assistant. That is true. So let me just uh, demonstrate this for you real quick. Hey, Google. Show the driveway. Got it. Streaming driveway. 
So kind of hard to tell because it's dark out right now, but that's a live feed of our driveway. And um, now we'll have Bella go downstairs and ring the doorbell and I'll show you what it does. All right guys, so this is probably one of my favorite things about this um, Google display here. If I'm sitting up here working during the day, you know, sitting here at my computer, doing what I gotta do, if somebody comes up and rings my doorbell, I can't see my front door. I don't know how well you can see out there. Oh yeah, you, there you go, you can see it. There's Bell out there waiting to do a demonstration for us. So I can't actually see the front door. So if somebody was to walk up and not drive up to my house, I don't know who's at the door, and then I gotta go all the way downstairs, and it's probably somebody I don't wanna talk to anyways. So what we're gonna do is, say I'm sitting here working, and my doorbell rings. And there we have a live feed of Isabella. Let's see if we can talk to her. Hi, Isabella. I gotta turn the volume up so you can hear. Can you hear me, Bella? Yes. And there you go. All right, come on inside, Bella. And then you just, we'll ignore it. It goes back to the clock, but um, yeah. That's kind of a, a really handy thing to have, so. Anyways, now we're going to go downstairs and we'll go in the garage. Alright folks, now we're in the kitchen. Sorry for the noise, the dishwasher's running. It's Monday night with four kids, you know, so life never stops. Uh, not much in the kitchen yet, except for these bar lights. And we're going to show you these. Hey Google, turn on the bar lights. Okay, turning on two lights. That's about it for in here right now. I do got plans for a lot of other stuff in the kitchen, but... We'll get to that later. So now let's take them outside and show them the shop. All right, folks, we're in the garage. And uh, I don't have a lot set up out here yet. I can't really show you the whole garage because we're also working on a garage makeover video. We've been working on the garage for like a month now, I think. But um, we do have some Google speakers out here, or Nest, actually it's the Nest audio speakers. We have them paired up in pairs. I uh, use them a lot for listening to music and stuff. But um, I do have one cool thing so far. Uh, let's see if we can get the camera up and around without showing you the whole garage here. So I have these lights, and I don't use these lights daily like we do that light right there. So these are also hooked up on a smart plug. Hey Google, turn on the shop lights. And there you go. So we have both of these lights hooked up to a smart plug also. Still waiting for Google or Nest to come out with like a garage door opener or something of that nature, but I tried the Genie, I think it's called the Aladdin Connect, and needless to say, we took it back to Home Depot and returned it today because that thing was garbage. So now we're going to go out to the front and show you the front porch area. Alright guys, now we're in the master bedroom. Uh, we don't have a lot of smart stuff in here yet, but I do have the lamps they're actually set up on a timer i don't know they come on at like seven they go off at nine but they can be controlled by google um hey google turn on the master bedroom lights sure turning the bedroom lights on that's about it and then you can also control them through your phone so then i just turned them off now we're going to go show you the patio light or the front porch light i guess not the patio uh it does a lot of cool stuff all right, now we're on the front porch. So there's our light. Hey Google, turn on the porch light. There we go, so the porch light's on. Now this isn't just, uh, you notice it was red when it came on? This is one of the Philips Wiz lights. Now this light, these bulbs in general, are pretty awesome. They have multiple colors you can do. I right, can turn it green. Um, let's see, you have candlelight. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them with you. It does do one, it's called party mode, which we'll show you these when we get in the living room. They, uh, it's, it's cooler, I guess, with more, multiple lights, but it'll do multiple colors. Um, I do have it set up to where it comes on at, you know, around dark and it goes off around seven in the morning and... So it's on a timer by itself also. And when you turn it off, it really slowly goes out. And there it goes. So now we're gonna go show you the living room, which is really awesome. 
Okay, I did forget. We do have a Google doorbell, which is what we showed you from the display upstairs. And then we have a Yale door lock. Um, pretty awesome. Whoops, I just locked us out. <laughs> <laughs> so the Yale button's what unlocks the door or lights up the screen. I'm not going to show you my passcode to get in though. Because then somebody might break into my house. But there you go. This also runs through Google. I can lock, unlock it with my phone. I can tell Google to lock it. And that kind of goes in with the commands. So now that we're in the house, uh, first off we have a giant six foot ceiling fan, which this fan, it runs off a of remote control. Not really much to show you right now. Uh, there is a, a smart hub you can buy to where you can do it with voice commands. So the first thing we're going to do, actually we're going to show you our little TV set up here first. I know I, I didn't show no builds on this. We used to have a gigantic cabinet that went from floor to ceiling, or darn near to the ceiling. And for this house not being that old, that cabinet looked like it was built in the 1980s. It was just horrendous looking. It was so ugly. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we'll just tell Google to turn on the lights in here. Hey Google. Hey Google. Turn on the living room lights. And that command should turn all the lights on. Evidently she's being stubborn, not wanting to listen to me. Hey Google, turn on the living room lights. There we go. So now as you can see, our cabinet lights lit up. We have a fireplace light. We have four can lights up here in the ceiling. And then also the lamp over here on the dog kennel that's tied into the living room lights and it's, you know, smart switch so it turns off and on. So, first thing I want to show you is some different commands we have. So if you notice right now, all the lights are like a, I think they're on a warm glow is what it's called for nighttime. So if we say, hey Google, hey Google, movie time. She's making a fool of me right now. She's not wanting to work right. Okay, we're going to stop the video for a second because I don't know what my Google's doing. There it goes. Okay, we didn't have to stop. So it turns the backlights blue, which looks a lot better at nighttime when it's dark out. The blue is like, you can still see, but you don't have any light glaring off your TV. It shuts the lamp off. And it's supposed to shut off the fireplace light, but it didn't. And it might, it might not. I'm, I don't remember how it's set up. Hey Google, turn off the fireplace light. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode before we started filming today. So, anyways, we got the blue lights on, uh, just on the back lights. The the front lights closest to the TV. I keep those off so you don't have any glare off your TV when you're watching it. Now, I'm going to show you something really cool, or at least what I think is really cool. You can also control all these Philips Wiz lights through their mobile app, which I'm going to show you right here. Um, so, the party mode we was talking about earlier, we can, let's get some party mode going on in here. And what party mode does... Hold on a second here. Kind of hard to do this, holding the phone and filming. All right, we're back. So I was having technical difficulties. I put my phone on airplane mode and then it could not communicate with the lights. So like I was saying, we have what's called party mode. And I'm gonna show it to you here. Let me get them all turned on. I really don't use the party mode. The kids think it's it's awesome, but I don't really care for it a whole lot. So here you go. The lights will jump back and forth, different colors. It's kind of cool, I guess, if that's something you're into. But um, I'm not really into that. So now we're going, hey Google, turn off the living room lights. So there you go, all the lights shut off. Now, actually we're gonna show you another command real quick. Hey Google. Turn on the living room lights. All right, so right now we're on. We're actually in party mode, so hold on one second. 
All right, so right now, I had to get them off party mode. So right now we got them on what's called cozy. It's kind of like a warm white color. I like it for nighttime. Now we have some commands you can set up in Google. You can set up routines. So basically when you tell your Google to do something, it'll you know control your lights, thermostats, door locks, whatever it might be. So our first command that we use just about daily is, hey Google, good night. So it shuts the lights off, turns the fireplace light on, keeps the lamp on, and it locks the front door. And then she will tell you it's locked. But today she's being really stubborn for some reason. I have her on a British accent, maybe that's why she's not telling me anything. <laughs> but uh, but anyways, the front door did lock, she, just, she didn't tell us that it locked. And then in the morning times, it... Uh, the lights come on at six in the morning. They do a wake up feature. So they come on almost a red color, very, very dim. And it takes them 30 minutes to get to their full brightness. So it's just a real slow, wakes you up, uh, makes it nice. And then around seven in the morning or so, they're off for the day. All right, now we're uh, gonna go show you the girls' rooms, which same light bulbs, same features, but we're gonna show it to you anyways real quick. All right, I did forget to show you one really cool feature in our living room. So like I said, we used to have this horrible looking cabinet here and I tore it all out, built a new cabinet. It's not gonna be, as you can see down here at the bottom, it's not gonna be open like that. I'm eventually going to put a piece of baseboard there, but I don't wanna go with the same baseboard that's in here now because I don't like it. We're gonna go with something a little different. So for the time being, that's gonna be open like that until I re-baseboard the whole living room. But I did want to show you something really cool I done when I built this. So you can't really tell, I don't think, but I brought this back wall. I brought it out probably about 12 inches. And there was a reason behind that because this is actually a 75 inch TV and it's heavy. So I got it all reinforced behind it with two by sixes and whatnot. And uh, I'm gonna pause the camera now. I'm gonna give it to Bella and she's gonna film while I show you all the cool features of this. TV section we have. Alright, so the TV, you know, it's kind of tucked back in here. So if you're sitting over here on the couch, you can't you can't really see it all. So it's on an articulating arm. So the TV does pull out. That way we can view it from over there. Now Bella bring the camera up this way. So you might be wondering why I brought the wall so far. It's not just to support the TV. Let me see the camera, Bella. We have a little hidden spot up in here. And it's I know it's kind of difficult to see it, but I'm going to show you. So if I pull this panel out, here we have our, there's our Google Nest Wi-Fi. It's actually a mesh system, but all of our internet stuff is back here. Our electrical, everything's back here hidden in the wall. And uh, believe it or not, the, the Wi-Fi has not lost any strength whatsoever from putting it in there. So uh, I'm definitely happy with that. Like I said, we have the mesh Wi-Fi. We have three of the pucks throughout the house. You can kind of see another one right up here on the kitchen counter. And, um, or up on the cabinet, I mean. But um, yeah, the Wi-Fi is great throughout the whole house. I get Wi-Fi outside on our patio. I get Wi-Fi in my garage. Upstairs in the office, not an issue at all. So now we're gonna go see the girls' rooms. All right, now we're in Emma and Bella's, Emma and Kinsley's room. Sorry, I got I got four kids. I you know, remember when you was a little kid and your grandma would like start hollering everybody's names or your mom and you're like, oh my god, why can't she remember who I am? It's just something that happens to old age when you have a lot of kids. You get their names mixed up. So, anyways, not a whole lot to see in here. Um, the girls each have a, a Google Home in their room, and they have some smart bulbs also. So go ahead, Emma. Hey Google. There you go. She's got hers on bright. But um, this does really help because I'm sure all of you with kids realize, like right now, our bathroom, the kids' bathroom, nobody's in it, and the lights are on. So at least now if I'm walking through the house or if I'm in the living room and I notice their lights are on, I can just tell Google to turn their lights off. Um, while we're in the hallway, here's another one of our uh, Wi-Fi mesh hockey puck looking things. And now we're in Bella's room. Yeah, it's clean, but uh, same concept. Go ahead, Bella. Hey, Google, turn my lights on. 
And what's cool about the lights is that you can change some different colors like this. Hey Google, turn my lights hot pink. There you go. So um, now as you can tell in Bella's light or in her fan, she only has two smart bulbs in it and the other two light, light bulbs are nothing right now. Um, we're eventually going to swap out her ceiling fan. I don't know. Finally. I don't know who when they built this house and I, th I believe this house was built in 2011. Uh, I don't know who thought it was a good idea to, you know, steal a ceiling fan from their grandma's house and stick it up in his bedroom. But this thing is god awful. Just gold plated, ugly looking wood blades. I mean, it's it's horrible. It it needs to just go into trash. So, yeah, that's that for that. All right, Bella does have something important to tell you that I did not touch on. If you are gonna want your lights to come on with the Google, you have to have the switch on. Yep, you gotta leave the switch on all the time. So uh, let us get everything situated here and we're gonna sit down and explain to you what all products we use in our house and how they work and what we think of them. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our smart home tour. I know it's not elaborate where, you know, I can turn my oven on and stuff like that, but we're getting there. It's only been probably about a year now that I started doing all this. So the products we use, like I said, our, our whole home runs off of Google and Nest, Google Nest. I know they're the same company pretty much. But um, for the light bulbs, everything is Philips Wiz. Now, it's still made by Philips. It's like Philips Hue, but the Philips Wiz, and I'll post some screenshots of the pictures of uh the bulbs from Home Depot, they are extremely cheaper than the Philips Hue bulbs. I don't know why. I think the, the Wiz bulbs do awesome. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. But um, a couple years ago, I tried the, the GE light bulbs, the C by GE. They're expensive. I think they're like 50 bucks a bulb for the living room alone for the can lights. And those bulbs were the biggest headache in the world. If somebody flipped a light switch, the bulbs lost connection. If uh, the power went out, the bulbs lost connection. And then trying to sync all the bulbs back together using the mobile app, Google would never recognize them. They was horrible, absolutely horrible. So I switched to the Philips Hue bulbs because they run off your Wi-Fi only. They don't need Bluetooth to connect to anything. And what I've noticed is if you flip a light switch off, it's not a big deal. You turn it back on, the lights will come on and they'll, they'll still work with your Google. Uh, if the power goes out, they still work. It's not a big deal. They just come on, you're good to go. So I absolutely love the Philips Wiz bulbs. You can get remote controls for them to control separate rooms. You can get motion sensors for them. Um, I haven't really went in that depth in with it, but we do have a remote for it for the living room, but we don't we don't really use it a whole lot. So thermostats, I know Nest kind of, you either love it or you hate it. There's a lot of mixed reviews on them. We've had the thermostats now for maybe six months and I haven't noticed an issue at all with them. I absolutely love them. Uh, you know, you can control it from your phone. You can control it from your, your Google Assistant. Or you can set them however you want. And they'll, they'll maintain your temperature. So that's my opinion on everything. The cameras also we have. Uh, I guess I didn't. I forgot to mention that. We have the, the Google Nest exterior cameras. We have one facing the driveway. One facing the patio. And then we have the doorbell camera. They all work great. Doorbell camera is really cool. I know we showed you earlier in the video where, you know, it'll show up on your Google display if you have it set up that way when somebody rings the door, but it'll also start recognizing familiar faces. So, for instance, if my youngest son, Matthew, rings the doorbell, it'll say Matthew or MJ's at the front door. Um, it recognizes people. So, basically, you'll get notifications on your, on your Google app. And it'll say unfamiliar face detected. And then if it's somebody you know, you can say, yes, I know this person. You can put a name next to it. And then it'll start telling you who's at the front door besides just saying somebody's at the front door. So Bella, you got anything to add? Well, with the cameras, if someone, like if something's going on in the like yard and you're like out of town or something, it will notify, it will let you know. And it will. The cameras are by far way better than what we had, and I'm not trying to do any uh, product bashing, but we used to have a Vivint home security system with their cameras, the doorbell camera, the door lock, the whole works. Biggest waste of money in the world. Don't, 
I, this is just my opinion. I wouldn't put a Vivint product in my home if it was free. I wouldn't even put it in my home if they were paying me like a hundred bucks a month to have their stuff. I wouldn't do it because it's junk. It's absolutely junk. I actually threw away all of our Vivint stuff before we was even out of contract and started switching over to the Nest products and they haven't let me down at all. I don't know the total cost of Nest Aware, but Nest Aware will save your videos for you and whatnot. So, you know, say something did happen and you need to save a video clip, you could save it and then you could email it to somebody or, you know, whatever you need to do, email it to the police department for investigation or whatever it might be. But um, it, it's fairly cheap. I think it's, I don't know. I'm not gonna tell you a number because I don't know off the top of my head right now. But um, yeah, that's what we got for our smart home so far. And hopefully, hopefully here in the future, we can do a updated video of some new products we got. I got some ideas for stuff I'm wanting to do. So it just takes time. So thank you for watching.